Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video or if you have never seen my face before, hi, my name is Marloes and welcome to my channel. For today's video I am back with an extra large random shopping haul. I have an H&M bag over there, I have a C&H bag if that's the way you pronounce it and I also have a Primark bag over there in the corner so I have a lot to show you guys and I cannot wait to finally wear these items after I'm done filming this video and obviously I'm going to show you these items in no particular order tell you what size I bought and also how much I paid for each item so let's get on into this shopping haul before we dive into the extra large random shopping haul if you like these kinds of videos but if you are also interested in unboxing videos lifestyle videos makeup videos occasional Disneyland Paris and cat videos and if you're not already subscribed to my channel then don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and click on the little notification bell so you will be updated on every new video I post on this channel and while you're at it also give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to see all the items that I shopped in these stores and without further ado let's get into this video I think I am going to start with my Primark bag because I know that a lot of people love to see what items there are inside of the Primark stores but I did not pick up a whole lot of stuff in Primark because I saw a lot of cute stuff in other YouTubers videos and on the website but in the store that I went to in Almere um, it was just a big letdown. I could not find all the cute stuff that I saw online. So was a bit bummed out but still managed to find a few pieces. The first item that I picked up is this sports legging. And I believe it is yeah, ankle length. It is not full length. And it has a lot of details on it. It also has a little pocket over here. And the best thing on the inside, it has a, a little drawstring. So you can actually make the waist a little bit tighter. So it will not fall off when you're doing your exercises. And that was really the selling point for me. Because most sports leggings tend to, yeah they just <laughs> tend to go down my butt a little bit and I have to pull them up a lot of the times. So yeah, I was really surprised by this. I have not seen these before. They look very good. I did a little squat test and they are even squat proof. I picked this one up in a size medium and I paid 12 euros for this sports legging. And on this little card, it actually says it is a four-way stretch. It is a lightweight and it is made using recycled plastic. So all the good stuff. I already tried this one on and it fits like a glove. So I am very happy that I picked this one up. Next up, I picked this three-pack of wireless seam-free bralettes I guess it has a dark navy blue one a soft pink one and a lighter gray one and I really love these kinds of bras or bralettes without the wire and all that kind of torturous stuff because yeah these are just way more comfortable and I love to wear these around the house but also outside of the house uh, these also have a removable cup and picked this one up in a size medium and paid 12 euros for a three pack. I also picked up a second three pack but these ones are like the round neck and the other ones are more of a V neck. As you can see there are only two left inside of this pack because I already used one of these seamless bras. 
and I believe that the one that I used already was in a nude kind of color. So a burgundy color and a white creamy kind of color in this set. Also has removable cups. Yeah, not much to say about them except for the fact that they are extremely comfortable. Pick this one up in a size medium also and these are also 12 euros for a 3 pack. Next up, I have this super cute mint mint colored? I think it is mint. I'm not sure how the camera is picking that up, but this mint colored t-shirt and on the front it says off to the sea and I thought this was a very cute shirt for filming because most of the time I am wearing black or white or black or white striped or polka dotted t-shirts so yeah I thought why not pick up something with a little bit of color to change things up in my video but yeah just a very regular standard shirt Picked this one up in an extra large because I really like my t-shirts to fit oversized. And let's have a look. This t-shirt was only 3 euros. So yeah, that is the reason that I chucked it in my basket. Because for 3 euros you can never go wrong with another t-shirt. Staying in the t-shirt department, I also picked up this super basic yeah, Ooh, that's not supposed to be there. This super basic blue t-shirt. It's almost like an acid wash blue. This one does not even have a print on it, but also pick this one up for the purpose of my videos. <laughs> um, this one I picked up in a size large because that was the biggest size available. And this super basic t-shirt is also three euros. I also picked up a few little bits and bobs. Um, I have a two pack, well I have two two packs of beauty blenders or blender sponges as they call them. Because I really needed new ones and these looked pretty good. They have a cute pink color and you get the normal shape and also the little bended shape. Don't know how to say what kind of shape it is but you can see and for a two pack you only pay two euros so therefore i picked up two sets the next item is this super cute convenient and compact wallet it has a lot of extra space for your cards for your paper money for your cash money and it just looked very handy to put into smaller bags because normally I am carrying around a very big version so sometimes it's nice to have a smaller one and I really like the fact that they also had a little compartment for your coins and also for some other stuff so yeah very happy with this one has a little bit of detailing around here on the back some space for your cards and it just caught my eye really needed it so that's why I took it home with me and this one was only four euros and the next and final Primark item is this little hair remover tool uh, used to remove unwanted hair from your face and body not sure if the camera is picking that up, but it is one of these torture devices. Never used this before, but I thought maybe this will be very handy for the little peach fuzz underneath my eyebrows. Because I get a lot of super small blonde hairs underneath my eyebrow. And they are just a pain in the ass to get rid of with normal tweezers. So maybe this will help me out a lot and make that job a little bit quicker. If you have any experience with these kinds of tools, let me know some tips and tricks in the comments down below. Because I could really use some. Uh, this was only 1 euro and 50 cents. And yeah, I really hope that this is going to work. 
And I also hope that I do not rip off my entire eyebrow. Next up, I am going to grab my C&H bag because this one only contains two items, if I'm correct. And one of the two items is actually from the store The New Yorker. But I already had a lot of bags with me, so yeah. So I just said that I could put it in some other bag. But let's start with the actual item from the C&H store. And it is this super cute, way too long to fit in the screen, flared denim jeans. And this is a high-rise, full-length, flared trouser, jeans, denim. You know what I mean. And yeah, it has a little bit of stretch to it, which I'm a big fan of. Um, it has no point of me putting it up in the screen because you are not able to see the entire length. But I will insert a little clip of me wearing it so you can actually see what it looks like. Uh, this is from the C&H brand Clockhouse. I picked this one up in a size 44 and I paid 24 euros and 99 cents for this one. And the other item inside of this bag is an item by the brand Amisu and that is a brand from the store New Yorker. And this is another hard one to show you guys because it is actually a jumpsuit. And the top looks like this if my camera is picking it up. It has a lot of lace detailing and a nice V cut. And after that it just goes into this flared black <laughs> leg. Also, very difficult to show you guys. I will move a little bit out of the way so you can see what it looks like in its full length. And this is actually a special item because my best friend is getting married really, really soon. And I needed something to wear for her wedding. And this is a good candidate for that. Maybe I will still pick something else. But yeah, this item was only $19.99 and yeah, for that price I could not leave it hanging in the store because it looks pretty cool when you put it on. And I picked this one up in a size 42, so I think that will translate to a large. So yeah, black jumpsuit and only cost $19.99 by the store New Yorker. Then for the final bag from H&M and as you can see this is the biggest bag of the three. The first item that I picked up at H&M is this super cool forest green shirt with a California forest on the front. And yeah, as you can see it is pretty oversized and I thought this color would look perfect with my hair and also has all the autumn vibes. I also really liked the detailing on the neck because it is kind of that ripped material so that gave it a little extra detail. And also on the bottom you have this little patch which says Redwood Park United States USA. So there are quite a bit of details on this t-shirt. And I picked this one up in a size medium. So beware, it is very oversized. And this one costs me 14 euros and 99 cents. I also picked up another green item and it almost looks the same. But this is a sweater version of the t-shirt that I just showed you. It only has a different kind of print to it. What does it say? It says Nebraska with some kind of eagle on it, established in 1968, Midwest USA, United States of America. And this one has the same kind of ripped detailing on the neckline and obviously also on the little cuffed sleeves. 
and yeah also really really loved this color and it has the fleece lining on the inside so this is going to be a very cozy one on some colder days picked this one up in a size large because I like my sweaters and hoodies oversized and this one was $24.99 and the final item from this extra large random shopping haul is this extremely comfortable jacket. I'm not even sure if I can pick it up. I cannot pick it up. But it is a super large and comfortable jacket or shacket or I'm not even sure what they call it these days. But it is super soft and it just has this nice neckline. It has these nice quick push and pull buttons. Not really sure how to call it in English. In Dutch it is drukknoopjes. <laughs> uh, it has pockets on the breast. Also has some side pockets. Yeah, this is just the coziest, comfiest jacket you can have. I uh, picked this one up in a size large because I wanted it to be as large as possible. Uh, large is also the biggest size that is available for this item. And I paid only 39 euros and 99 cents for this one. And for that money, I, I could not leave this one hanging in the store because it is so soft, so comfortable. I really love this pattern so yeah i'm going to be extremely comfortable this autumn and winter and that for a little less than 40 euros not mad about that whatsoever and that were all the items that i recently picked up on one of my shopping sprees let me know in the comments down below which item is your favorite and I cannot wait to wear my flared jeans with some autumn kind of top on the top of that. And also cannot wait to wear my super comfy oversized jacket. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. And you would also help me out a lot. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and click the little notification bell so you will be updated on every new video I post on this channel. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!